doing good. How are you? I'm good. All right. What's good? What's good? I'm <laughs> oh man, Ada, you kind of, without Dante and then now without Steven, I mean, how, how do you feel like you've kind of taken on maybe even a more vocal role in, in the season, kind of even as a rookie? Uh, it's just, you know, continue to do my job. I feel like we got a lot of older guys and a lot of leaders on our team, especially on the defensive side of the ball, that no matter what those guys out, you know, we got another guy to step in and be a leader. Especially in the outside linebacker room, you know, you got Steve, you got Dante, but you also got Brandon Copeland, who's been doing it for a while. You know, you got uh, Kaminsky, who's been in there and doing it. So you got a lot of guys who know what they're talking about, know what they're doing. And I'm just following the lead, you know. And for me, vocally, it's just, you know, I really don't say much. I just try to uh, do by action and just try to go and do my role on the field. So I think just understanding exactly what I'm getting, what, what I'm getting from the offense, but also what I'm expecting on each play, you know, when we call and what I'm expecting from the offense on each play. You know, the more and more I play, the more and more you learn. And I think that's that's for me is a, is, is really progressive for me is understanding that the more play, play time I get, the more I'm learning about each rep that I play. So just continuing to watch film, understand what I'm getting on each call. So. Uh, yeah, I'm starting to learn that. It's been a little difficult, obviously, because we haven't been all together as one in, in, a, in a, quite a bit. So it was still like kind of learning each other and learning each other's strengths and weaknesses, understanding how to rush with each other. But I think as the games go on as, and as we get healthier, you know, everybody starts learning from each other. Everybody knows what each other's strengths and weaknesses are. And then that's how you get a really good pass rush going. How, how have maybe teams, when in the rare instances where y'all have been on the field? Yeah. I mean, I, obviously, you know, you can you can expect different uh, slides going different ways. You know, sometimes, you know, the offense have their game plan of who, what they want to do. And it might not be on a Dante or on Grady, you know. It might just be the game plan that they have chosen. So I think it's just like learning each game. You know, you got to realize in the first quarter you got to progress and learn what offense is giving you and then use that and get better as the game goes by. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. That's the, I mean, Grady's one of the best D tackles in the game. So obviously they're gonna try to stop him at all costs. So you you understand that as well. You understand what they're trying to do, where they're trying to slide to the Grady. But again, you're not they're not gonna keep doing the same play all over and over again. They're gonna change it up. They're gonna have different routines, different game plan, so that they can get the right protection and they can uh, pass protect the right way. Yeah, hundred percent. You know that game is behind us. It happened. It didn't. It's not the way we wanted it to end, but it happened. You know, we forget about it and we move on to the Patriots. That's what our focus is right now, and it's an exciting new challenge. The Patriots are a very good team. They're very disciplined. They do the right things. They've been a great culture since they, since they've been in the, uh, been around. So, I mean, it's a great opportunity for us, and we're excited about it. What stands out to you when you look at Matt Jones in particular? Because even though the Patriots on the hot streak, yeah. Obviously, I mean, I think he's a great, calm, and collective guy in the pocket. I played him in college in the last championship game in Alabama, and he was calm and collective. You know, he didn't let the pressure get to him. He was he was calm in there. You know, he knows. He's a very smart player. He knows what he's doing. He knows where, where players are at all times, and I think that's that's why he's playing so good right now. This is your first experience in a short week scenario yeah. ever, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's yeah. Why? I mean, what does, are you just like, like – Yeah, it's <laughs> a little different for me, man. It's It's, it's – it's, Obviously, Sunday you get back and you get a little hurt and sore, but you realize that everything comes back quickly. So it's a little different for me. You know, I got my routine's got to be a little quicker. I got to recover a little bit faster. But, you know, we'll see once Thursday comes. You know, it's, I'm excited about playing on a Thursday night, you know, because it's fun. You'll be the only ones, uh, only team playing, so it'll be cool. No, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You want to go out there as fast as you can to prove that, you know, that loss was a fluke, you know. So just going out there and playing on Thursday is a great opportunity, like I said. It's great to go out there and prove something, and it's a great challenge ahead of us, and I'm excited for it. How do you, men how do you mentally go through after? Because you've dealt with troubles under college. 
Yeah. Yeah. How do you mentally? Yeah. How do you mentally? You just you don't you don't look back on it. I mean that that all the stuff that happens in the past happens in the past. I can't control that. It's over. You know all the the losses that I had in the past. Can't do anything about it. Can't go back in the past. Ain't no time travel. You know I got to think about the present. So I mean for me myself is look at the film, correct it, the things that need to be corrected, and move on to what we have to do now. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be cool if there was. <laughs> uh, how much emphasis have you guys put on the pass for us? I know you talked about Matt being too calm to let you yeah. know if you could hit him. If you yeah, yeah, yeah. Him. Obviously, you know, that's a big thing. We, we're trying to – and he's a young guy, so, you know, rookie just like me. So he's learning the game just like I am. So obviously if you get to him, things can happen. But – I think for us it's just, like I said earlier, it's really pass rushing together. I think that's the biggest thing about pass rush is not, you know, obviously there's one guy who's uh, making wins and all that, but there's also coming together and pass rushing as one. When all four guys are pass rushing as one and collapsing in the pocket, that's when you get, you know, sacks and missed throws, INTs, things like that. I want to go back to the, you know, kind of putting it behind you. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. It was not always like that. I mean, I remember when I played at Notre Dame and, you know, when we lost to Miami, there was times where I was like, dang, like, you know, that game is still in my head. You know, the Georgia game when we lost by uh, by field goal, that was still in my head. And you let those things get in your head and only just, just deters your progress, you know, detours your progress. You just think about it, think about it. You just got to let that go, you know. All the things that happened over there happened, and we just got to think about what's going on right now. No, nah, all L's for me are L's. Ain't no other ain't no other way around it. Lose by a field goal, lose by thirty, it's an L. So Appreciate you guys. Yeah.